Welcome to this presentation on Microsoft SQL Server certifications. My name is John Deirdre, and you can find me at thatawesometrainer.com. In this presentation, we will discuss reasons you may want to get certified and an overview of available Microsoft SQL Server certifications. We will not be discussing classic certifications as they have expired as of March 31st, 2017. Our focus will be on the new Streamline certifications that were introduced in September 2016. Finally, we will go through some helpful study resources. For my exam and study tips, well, you need to attend one of my SQL Saturday presentations to get those. So let's get started. So why should you get certified? Well, that is really for you to decide. For myself, it was a personal challenge of learning new technology and validating my skills. I've had this discussion with some of my friends in the SQL Server community, and many of them emphasize experience as a main factor when they are interviewing for open positions. But how do you get that experience? How do you get your resume through the Human Resources Department? How does someone get to that interview? That is where certifications come into play. They assist in getting you a job, they assist in getting better at your job, and they assist in getting promoted in your job. You can find out more at this Microsoft Learning Link to download an independent study from the IDC Council. Before we get into the certification requirements, let us look at the Microsoft certifications available. We start with the MTA or Microsoft Technology Associate. This is an introductory level certification for those looking for their first job out of school or just to test your basic skills. To earn the Database Fundamentals MTA, you will only need to pass the 98-364 exam. This exam is comprised of 100 multiple choice questions that will test your foundational knowledge of database design and administration. A score of 70 is required to pass this exam. It is important to note that the MTA is not required for any of the other certifications and will not earn a MCP or Microsoft Certified Professional certification. It is only for the MTA. However, it is an excellent place to start for those that are new to certifications or that are new to the IT industry. The starting point for many professionals will be the MCSA or Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate. Currently, as I record this, there are four MCSA options available with four more coming in the fall of 2017. We will walk through the various MCSA certifications in just a moment. However, unlike the MTA, just by passing one of the MCSE exams will earn you an MCP or Microsoft Certified Professional. Once you have achieved an MCSA, you can continue to promote your skills by earning a MCSE on data management and analytics. Previously, it was possible to earn an MCSE on data platform or business intelligence, but both of these certifications have retired as of March 31st, 2017. Let us take a look at the first four MCSA certifications. It is still possible to earn the classic certification on SQL Server 2012 and 2014. This does require you to pass the three exams, 70-461, 70-462, and 70-463. These three exams test you across the database skills spectrum, so you need to demonstrate abilities as a developer, administrator, and data warehouse designer. This proved difficult for many people as many data professionals focus on one or two areas. The remaining certifications are version neutral, but are currently on SQL Server 2016 or later. The first thing you may notice is that only two exams are required instead of three. You may also notice that each MCSA is focused only on a specific SQL Server skill set. For the database developers, you would only need to pass the 70-761 and 70-762 exams. For the database administrators, you would only need to pass the 70-764 and 70-765 exams. And for those who specialize in business intelligence development, you would take the 70-767 and 768 exams. There's nothing to stop you from taking more than one MCSA if you want, but now it is even easier to get at least one. If you're interested in taking a Microsoft course, the course numbers match the exam numbers. 
just replace the 7 with a 2. For example, if you wanted to take a Microsoft course for the 70-761 exam, you would sign up for the 20761 course. Just as a side note, I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and I highly recommend taking the courses from a Microsoft Certified Trainer or MCT. So now let us take a look at the new exams coming out in the fall of 2017. You can see that we still only have two exams per certification, but the new certifications are testing on data science or machine learning, big data or data engineering, business intelligence reporting or visualization with Excel and Power BI, and finally Azure development. That gives us eight possible MCSA certifications. Now that is some flexibility to show off your abilities. After you have earned your MCSA, you may want to continue on to an MCSE. With the classic certifications, you would have needed to pass two specific exams. With the new streamlined certifications, you only need one elective exam. Now that is definitely some flexibility and being able to focus your MCSE certification towards your specific skill sets. Another thing that is really exciting about the new MCSE certifications is that they no longer expire. So you no longer have to recertify every three years. You do have the opportunity to re-earn an MCSE by taking one of the elective exams each year. Let me make sure I emphasize this. You're not required to take an exam each year. Your MCSE certification does not expire, but you do have the option to further demonstrate your skills and knowledge growth by taking an exam each year. Your Microsoft transcript will display a year designation for each time you earn the MCSE. Also, if you don't want to take a new elective exam, you can now retake an exam you have already successfully passed. However, you will have to wait 365 days. Now I often get asked about specifics on each of the exams. That is against the rules. You're not allowed to tell people what questions or answers that you may have seen on an exam. But I can tell you some basics. You will most likely get between 45 and 55 questions on your exam and you will get two to three hours to finish your exam. You will need a score of 700 out of 1,000 to pass the exam. I, I'm not that good at math, so if you want to know how the 700 score is figured out, there is a link on the screen where Liberty explains it all. If you have not taken a Microsoft exam before, I do want to warn you that for the MCSA and MCSE exams, not all the questions will be multiple choice. There are a wide range of question types. I will admit I'm not a fan of case studies. But if you go to the Microsoft Learning link on the screen, you'll be able to watch videos on each question type. This will help you get used to the navigation of the exams before you get to the testing center. Speaking of testing centers, to register for an exam, you go to the web page for that exam and schedule a time at a local Pearson View testing location. You do have the option of taking the exam from your home or office by using online proctoring. Again, there is a link for you on the screen that will take you to learn more about online proctoring exams. So let's finish up with some study resources. As I've said previously, I am an MCT and work for a Microsoft Learning Provider. So obviously my first recommendation would be to take a course for myself or one of my fellow MCTs. I know that this is not always possible. So the first place you should start is the Microsoft Virtual Academy. They have some great exam prep videos to help you begin with your certification journey. I also highly recommend exam prep books from Microsoft Press. As I'm reading this, only a few of the exam books are currently available, but the other exam prep books should be coming out by the end of 2017. Also, you can currently get a discount from the Microsoft Press Store by using the code on the screen. I would also recommend checking out Channel 9 as they typically have exam prep videos from the most recent Microsoft conferences. So we wish you success on your certification journey. Good luck and happy testing.